Welcome back YouTube to Icy Chap's Edge. I'm Icy Chap here with another video in my series on rope and knot tying. In this video I'm going to be talking about stopper knots which have a few functions. Number one, stopper knots can prevent a rope from fraying. If the fibers at the end of the rope begin to unravel then eventually that unraveling can travel down the entire length of the rope and destroy the rope. A stopper knot prevents that fraying from traveling. Another function is to create a bulge in the rope which allows you to have a handhold, makes the rope thicker in one part. And finally stopper knots will make other knots more secure. So there are four stopper knots I want to show you so let's get to it. The overhand knot is the most basic knot. It's small and very easy to tie, so you can always use it to make other knots more secure. Other knots are often based on the overhand knot, so it's very important to know it. Here's how you tie it. Basically, make a loop, and then pass your working end through the loop. Set the knot by pulling on both the standing and working ends until it's tight. And that's how you make the overhand knot. The double overhand knot is very useful in that it creates a nice fat handhold and can be used to make other knots very secure. And it's much more secure than the overhand knot. The only downside is that in some cases when a lot of pressure is exerted on it, the double overhand knot can seize. To tie a double overhand knot, you basically want to make a loop like you would for an overhand knot. But before you set the knot, you want to create a second loop. Then pass your working end through both loops and then as you set the knot make sure you dress it correctly and again what I mean by that is make sure that your loops do not cross as they are now. Make sure that your loops are parallel. Gradually set the knot making sure it's dressed properly and there set it solidly and you have got a nice secure double overhand knot. The figure eight knot is actually my favorite stopper knot because it's so versatile, it's used in a lot of other knots and it's very easy to tie. William Cutting 08 actually used the figure eight knot in one of his lanyard videos and it's also a very attractive knot. Here's how you tie it. You basically create a loop and then pass your working end back underneath the standing end and then through the loop. You don't need to dress this knot at all, just set it up with a good tug. And there you have a very secure, nice and attractive figure eight stopper knot. The blimp is a very secure and large knot, so it makes a great handhold and it also adds some weight to the end of your rope if you need to throw it to someone. It also will never seize, so if you're using your rope to lift a very heavy object, like maybe raise your pack into a tree, you know that you can use the blimp as your handhold and you'll always be able to untie it later. So here's how you tie a blimp. You basically start with an overhand knot, you make a loop, pass your working end through the loop, you've got an overhand knot, but then take your working end and pass it back through the top loop of your overhand knot and then back through the loop you just created. Gradually work up the knot, make sure it's nice and dressed without any folds in it and give it a good tug on both the standing end and the working end to make a nice secure blimp knot. Remember you can tie multiple stopper knots and even different kinds of stopper knots in the same line of rope, thereby giving you more handholds, more ways to secure other knots and basically making your rope a lot more useful. So that's my video on stopper knots. I hope you enjoyed it. Please see my other videos in my series on rope and wilderness knots. Leave comments, subscribe and have a good one.
شگه 